What's going on everyone? So Dylan Brooks continues to talk and so do the Memphis Grizzlies. Dylan Brooks said, I don't care. He's old. You know what I mean? Brooks said about 38 year old James. I was waiting for that. I was expecting him to do that game four, game five. Uh, he wanted to say something when I got my fourth foul. Uh, he should have been saying that early on, but I poke bears. I don't respect no one until they come and give me 40. Again, Dylan Brooks just speaking absolute nonsense. What has he done? He's done absolutely nothing for this playoff series. He just repeatedly talks. Where was he talking in game one when you were getting your behinds handed to you uh, by the Lakers? You weren't saying a word then. You weren't running your mouth then. Uh, what did you do this game? Oh, yeah, you shot 5 of 14 from the field, 2 of 6 from 3. Uh, you done nothing. You haven't stopped anybody. Uh, and he's walking around like he's the, the second coming of Michael Jordan. Dylan Brooks, I understand talking, but you got to at least be able to back it up, right? You got to at least be good enough to do something, not just be a complete and total liability where you're getting fouled out of games, where you're becoming a liability and they have to literally sit you on the bench, where you're not even providing any defense, like, that's Dylan Brooks' entire M.O., right? Is he supposed to be this great defensive player? Uh, he doesn't provide anything on the offensive end. Uh, even game one gave you 15 points, 5 of 13 shooting, 2 of 9 from 3. The Lakers' game plan is to literally leave him open, and it's worked. It's paid dividends. The Lakers played about as bad of a game as you could possibly play in yesterday's game, and the Lakers still had a chance to win that game. Dylan Brooks was sitting on the bench being a little cheerleader the whole time. It's just, it's total nonsense. Like, you know, if Triple J was talking, but he doesn't, and he's your best player, right? Like, you don't even hear Ja talk as much as Dylan Brooks does. Like, it's the worst player on the team is the, has the loudest mouth. You know, like, this guy doesn't let his game do the talking. And you want to know how good he's been? Here, let me, let me show you how good Dylan Brooks has been. So, LeBron James, who is averaging 24.5 points on 51.3% shooting in the series, has shot 50%, 50% from the floor with Dylan Brooks as the primary defender in the two games. He is 7 of 14 from the floor with Dylan Brooks as his primary defender in the two games, according to ESPN Stat and Information Research. So literally... LeBron James is killing Dylan Brooks. LeBron James is shooting 50% from the field against Dylan Brooks. The only reason LeBron James haven't, hasn't scored 40 points against Dylan Brooks is because Dylan Brooks isn't guarding him enough. Dylan Brooks is not stopping anybody. He's not doing anything. He's, all he's doing is stopping his team from winning anything. Because what's going to happen is he's going to talk himself out of the playoffs is what he's about to do. He's about to, like you said, I poked the bear. Well, you better be ready for that bear to wake up. You know what you did? You lost game one at home, and you're the best home team in the entire league. Like, you, he's acting like he's up 2-0 on the Lakers. They, the Memphis Grizzlies failed to do their job. Failed to do their job. Their job was to play two home games and win both of those home games. And guess what they did? They had two home games. And they failed to win both of those home games. Now they have to go to L.A. And the, and the Memphis Grizzlies are one of the worst road teams in the entire league, only winning 16 games on the road. Oh, and on top of that, they're very likely not going to have Ja Morant still. Oh, and on top of that, it's the first Lakers home game where, since LeBron James where the entire stadium can be jam-packed and filled. Oh, and you just pissed off LeBron James. Oh, and Anthony Davis probably isn't going to score five points in a game again. Oh, and I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And what has the Grizzlies done? Nothing. The Grizzlies act like they are the, the Warriors dynasty. And they've done nothing. Dylan Brooks wants to be Draymond Green so badly. I mean, Dylan Brooks isn't even Patrick Beverly at this point. Like, Dylan Brooks is literally a non-factor. He, he doesn't realize that, like, teams are purposely targeting him on the defensive end. He doesn't realize that teams are literally letting him shoot because he is so bad. 
Like, and look, I don't think he's a terrible player. I, I don't think he's god awful or anything like that, but he's not anything special. He's not anything we haven't seen before. He's not some elite level defender that's just, you know, absolutely uh, just locked down. Nobody can score on this guy. Like, he's not that good. He's not. He's, he, he does more talking than he does playing. The guy is, is more of a liability than he is anything else. And he just keeps chirping and chirping and chirping. And again, what is he going to say? He's gonna he's the guy that's going to have to go to the locker room when the Lakers are up three games to one because they win both their home games and go. And LeBron ends up giving dropping 40. And he's got to go in the locker room and go, oh, yeah, you know, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> you know, that was stupid. You know, it, look, LeBron James is old. You're right. But guess what? He's still been torching you. He's still torched you this game. You heard Desmond Baines talk about Rui Hachimura and, oh, he had the game of his career. And what did Rui did? Oh, yeah, he followed that up with, with smacking you again and being another guy to show. It's just, it's silly. It is absolute nonsense. Dylan Brooks and the Memphis Grizzlies as a whole really need to humble themselves. It's not everybody on that team, but it's like 90% of them. You have Ja Morant running around like he's living Grand Theft Auto. Uh, you have Dylan Brooks, who's just constantly chirping and running his mouth like he's, you know, some puppet. And you have uh, Desmond Baines, who does a lot of chirping, too, for a guy that doesn't really, you know, he has his moments here and there, but what has he won? What has he done? Nothing. You know, the only one that really doesn't talk a lot is Triple J, and he's arguably the best player. Just one defense play of the year, all that stuff. Like, it's just, it's funny to me. It really is. It's just, how silly can you be? You know, you're talking about arguably the greatest player of all time. A guy that, you know, as much as people like to say LeBron James isn't this or he isn't that or he doesn't have that killer instinct or whatever, come on. You know he can. You know that he is more than capable of going off for 40 if he needs to. Dylan Brooks ain't stopping LeBron James. LeBron James isn't worried about Dylan Brooks. LeBron James isn't looking at Dylan Brooks and going, man, that guy's an obstacle. Oh, man, that guy's a tough defender. Dylan Brooks is no problem. It's just, again, it's it's the it's the lack of humbleness. You know, you, you haven't achieved anything. You haven't won anything. You've done nothing but been first, second round exits uh, the last few years and it's just like what is what is your goal and you're very likely going to be a first round exit this year you know you're doing more time talking and then you are actually doing your job and getting focusing on the game at hand you don't hear anybody like who on the Lakers is talking who on the Lakers is running their mouths right because they don't need to they, they the Lakers did their job they won game one on the road you're the best home team in the entire league and you lost game one at home and you're also one of the worst road teams in the entire league so now you have to go into LA and sit in an environment that you're not good in on the road which you're not good in and have to try to beat the Lakers who have all the confidence in the world right now they just had arguably their worst game of the season as a whole, and they still had an opportunity to win that game. They were still down like four or six or whatever with like two and a half minutes left. Like, you didn't do anything. You had another bad game. It's just the Lakers had a worse game. Literally. Like, you, they, you, it's not like Memphis blew the Lakers out by 30. It's not like the, the Memphis Grizzlies were just, just look like this dominant team that was back and balancing it out. No, they haven't done anything, especially Dylan Brooks. Dylan, like the Lakers, are li their game plan is to literally leave you open. Their game plan is to literally let you, if, let you try to beat them because they know you can't. And he just, this dude just loves to talk. And again, I love some good trash talk. I love, you know, little little back and forth, you know, some good sportsmanship, you know, some some respectable stuff. But there is like delusional trash talk and then there's just like trash talk, trash talk. 
right? All Dylan Brooks is going to have to do is that when this is all said and done, have to explain to his team how he's sorry because he should have kept his mouth shut. Good luck. When you're at home, on the couch, watching the Lakers round two, I hope you learn your lesson. But uh, anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Yeah. Talking too much. They're going to talk themselves out of the playoffs. Do you think? Uh, no. Bring it on. Good, you know, conversation. Good, uh, just trash talk. Nothing wrong with that. However you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below.